Chrome OS is a Linux kernel based operating system that is known for its performance. To add the cherry on top, Chrome OS also supports Google Play Store, so you have access to millions of Android apps to install on it. If you want to try out this operating system, then one way is to go ahead and purchase the Chromebook. However, if you already have a Windows laptop or desktop, then the most convenient option would be dual booting the Chrome OS and Windows on your PC. So today I'll show how to install and run Chrome OS alongside Windows 10 or Windows 11 on a single machine. Let's get started. To successfully dual boot Chrome OS and Windows, we need to disable hibernation, fast startup and secure boot on your PC. Open command prompt. Here, type powercfg.exe slash hibernate off. This will disable hibernation mode on your system. Now to disable fast startup, open registry editor. Then go to this part. Locate the hyperboot enabled option. Just double click on it and change the value from 1 to 0. This will disable the fast startup option. To disable secure boot, restart your PC. Then press and hold the BIOS key to enter the BIOS screen. You will find the secure boot option under the security tab. Just disable it. Then press F10 to save and exit. The next step is to set up WSL and Ubuntu on our system. To do so, open PowerShell. Then enter this command into the PowerShell window. After the installation finishes, Ubuntu will ask you to create a username and password. After that, run this command to download and install PV and CGPT packages. To proceed with installing, enter the password you created. Now you need to create a new partition where you will install the Chrome OS. Chrome OS needs at least 16 GB of free space on your hard drive. I am going to create a partition of 100 GB, but you can choose your partition size. Name the partition Chrome OS. Now open the Chrome OS partition. Here, create a folder named Brunch. To make everything work, we need to download the Brunch file from GitHub. The Brunch framework is required to create an x86 64-bit generic Chrome OS image from an official recovery image. Moving on, Open your web browser and type cross.tech in your address bar. We'll download the Chrome OS recovery image from this website. But before that, you need to know which Chrome OS version you'll require. 
There are different versions for different CPUs and generations. For the 6th gen to 9th gen Intel CPUs, you need to download Shyvana. Shyvana is the code name of the recovery image. Similarly, for 10th gen Intel CPU, download Jinlin. For 11th and above, download Voxel. And for AMD Ryzen CPU, download Gumboss. So I'm gonna download the Shyvana recovery image. Just type your code name here. Then download the latest stable build which is 121 for now. Lastly, we need to download the grub to win software from this website. We'll use this program to create a dual boot menu. Now using 7-zip or WinRAR, extract all the files that you downloaded. Now create a new folder and name it Chrome OS. Then move all the extracted files into this folder. You should have a total of 6 files inside this folder. Make sure to rename this recovery image file to Chrome OS. Now we need to mount this folder directory to Ubuntu. To do that, copy the folder path from the address bar. Then paste it in this command. Don't forget to make all the letters small case. and replace all the backslashes with forward slashes. Also, remove the colon. Now open Ubuntu and enter this command. After that, we'll run our main installation command. Here, enter your Chrome OS drive letter. Then enter the size of the drive. Enter the size that is 1 or 2 GB less than your actual drive size. For example, my drive size is 97 GB, so I can type here 95. Now run the command and let the process begin. It can take anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes to complete the process. After the process is done, it will ask you to either continue with a single boot installation of Chrome OS or dual boot installation. As we want dual boot Chrome OS and Windows, type dual boot and hit enter. Now you can close the terminal. After that, go to the Chrome OS partition. Here you should see a Chrome OS disk image file and a grub text file. 
Just open this text file and copy all the contents from it. Now open the grub to win setup file and install the program. After it has been installed, click on Manage Boot menu. Create a new entry. In the Type section, select User Creation. It will open up Notepad. Here, paste the texts that you copied earlier. After pasting, make sure to save the file quickly, otherwise it will throw you an error message and you have to try again. Just ignore all the warnings. Now hit the apply button and close it. Now restart your PC in BIOS. Go to the boot or startup option. In the boot priority order, make sure grub to win boot manager is selected as the first option. Press F10 to save the configuration. Now every time you power on your PC, grub to win boot manager will load. To boot into Chromeverse, you need to select the branch option and hit enter. During the first boot, you'll see the branch framework logo. It'll take some time but eventually, you'll see the Chrome OS logo. Then you have to go through the first setup process of Chrome OS. Just set it up and start using your Chrome OS with the Play Store support.
So that is how you can install Chrome OS on a Windows PC and boot both operating systems on a single machine. While the steps are quite lengthy and complex, if you have followed all the steps correctly, then you should have accomplished this easily. Anyway, this is all for today. If you are facing any issues, then do comment down below and let us know. We'll definitely try to help you out.